When ye therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Matthew 24, 15 through 25. On Tuesday, March 5th, 2024, 16 states held their presidential primaries or caucuses before the actual election day in November. Until now, only one or two states have held primaries or caucuses on the same day. At the results came in, Nikki Haley ended up dropping out of the race. Former Ambassador Nikki Haley, the last major challenger to former President Trump for the Republican presidential nomination, is suspending her campaign later today. It comes as Donald Trump is projected to win virtually every state in yesterday's contest. And for those of you keeping track of the numbers, here is the delegate count. Trump now has 1,053 delegates. That's just 162 shy of the total he needs for the GOP nomination. On the Democratic side, President Biden dominated the board. He's projected to win overwhelming majorities almost everywhere. His delegate count is up to 1,548. When we take a deeper look at this event, it becomes obvious that this was another orchestrated satanic ritual meant to exalt the devil and his antichrist. So without further ado, let's get into it. The name Donald means ruler of the world. This is a reference to Satan as found in John 12, 31, which declares, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. The name Trump means to fabricate or devise a scheme to deceive and to triumph. Super Tuesday landed on March 5th or 3-5-2024. When we add these numbers together, 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4, we get 16. And 16 states participated in the Super Tuesday primaries in which Trump came out on top. The number 16 points to number 44, Barack Obama, since 4 times 4 is 16. Previously, we've spoken about how Trump became president in 2016 and how Trump also owns Trump Tower, which has a restaurant called 16 located on the 16th floor of Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago. This makes Trump symbolic of the 16th Trump Tower tarot card. This card follows immediately after the devil and all tarots that contain it, and it is associated with sudden, disruptive, and destructive change. It is no coincidence then that Trump became president following immediately after Obama 
the devil, whose slogan was change. It's been a long time coming, but tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to change America.